And we're back with part one, The Village. I hope M. Night Shyamalan doesn't show up. But yeah, that's the thing when it comes to World War II movies. You can't really root for the Germans to a point. There are some World War II movies where you can root for the Germans or at least want them to survive. Uh, I think Stalingrad is a good example because they really do humanize the uh, German soldiers in that movie. That's a very depressing movie. Like, really, really depressing. But overall, you really don't want the Third Reich to win because their government is evil incarnate. And I remember this part here being really, really cool. Uh, it's just like, you didn't see like, see this stuff like, you didn't see this stuff all that often. And I think the way this game is scripted is in many respects better than Cabba Doobies because it's just, it feels much more natural, you know? It's like, Kawa is still a good game. Don't get me wrong. This is my house. It just feels like you have much more of a influence in this game. Of course, you get the awesome Thompson submachine gun, but in a realistic manner, you barely have any ammo for it. That is cool. But you always have plenty of ammo, and of course, it's doing that little lag thing again. I checked. I couldn't tell what was wrong with it. I'm just assuming. I'm thinking it's like the new textures loading in. That's the problem. Oh, you gotta be sure to save, because there is no in-game checkpoint. Good luck. So now we gotta go try to stop the Third Reich. Really, when it comes to it, comes right down to it, uh, that's one of the things about World War II you gotta remember, is the Germans really were holding all of Europe under their, not under their thumb, but under their boot. That's something you gotta really keep in mind. And they killed everybody that disagreed with them. Now that's not to say that there weren't governments as evil as them. I mean, the Soviet Union was pretty bad. And I like this part here. Let's not get shot here. Let's smashy smashy the radio, but you can't shoot her. You can't do that. And if you do, the game is over. That I always liked uh, for a wide variety of reasons, just because I think you should be able to shoot civilians. I know that's like, oh, you can't shoot them. You need a mod for that. No, I don't want a mod for that. I don't want to shoot innocent civilians, you know? I don't really like that idea, and I never have. I do find it funny that, like, one of the awesome, extra, super amazing mods for... I bet that's exactly what that is. I bet that's the textures loading in since I'm using the high-res texture pack or one of them. The high-res texture pack that Roadkill showed me was uh, even better than this one. But, well, what works, works and I'm not going to try to remod the game and start playing again. So, yeah, it's like... I don't like the idea that like one of the super awesome amazing mods for Skyrim was you could kill the kids. It's like, oh come on. It's like, or at the very least, like, okay, yeah, it's a cool thing that you were able to uh, turn off the set essential for them, but that should be like considered like the greatest mod of all time, though. Oh, we got crowd shooting time. Hitler's buzzsaw is what they called this particular thing. Well, of course. That didn't do anything because none of them showed up. But then again, why would you want to try to charge a MG42? Now, really, the MG42 was shit. It was one of the best. Did I blow it up? Nope, I didn't. Oh, really? Really? Come on! Well, I guess they can't use it. Too bad they're all there. Ah, uh, well. Ah, uh, well, I don't care. Yeah, the MG42 was the best. General purpose uh, uh, machine gun of the entire war, actually. And they made, like, a couple million of them. And, like, we tried, the United States did this, tried to make one after World War II, but I don't, I don't know how successful we were at that, though. I think the M60 wasn't bad, but then, like, I think there were some problems where nobody, like, tried to keep, up, keep them up, you know? Oh, we got six health. Ah, oh, this is where the game gets fun, where we die every few feet because we only have a very little bit of health. And see, it doesn't regenerate, and you don't, you, you don't step over, you know, fucking health packs every six feet either. Which, I think, is good. A good degree of difficulty. Now, there's a little thing around here that we have to find. No, not over here, but where we just were, I think. we got to find something that lets us climb up. Yeah, I'm thinking that little bit of lag is exactly from the uh, textures loading, and that's the thing that makes sense. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you. <sighs> but yes, where was I? This level was really one of my favorites back in the day. Such as it is. Oh no! Is you can't tell me that. Okay, there we go. I was like, oh no, you can't tell me. I know I quick saved. 
Now just imagine if we had to go all the way back. This is one of my favorite levels of the game because it was just so cool, you know? Reload the quick save, please. Thank you. It was just so cool because, like, look at the size of the village. I mean, you didn't really see stuff like this. And once again, you know, you very seldom see wide open levels now. I mean, Doom has it in 2016 again. And Wolfenstein New Order had it. But it's like so, so few games did this. Alright, we'll just pose our head out here. I do like studying World War II. One of the things I find the best when it comes to World War II study is always try to find British documentaries. Those guys actually have some degree of, you know... Now, there's actually a guy that's going to pop out that's going to look like fucking Jamie Heineman of all people, from fucking Mythbusters. we got to make sure we don't shoot him, because if you shoot him, game over immediately. Or you get game over immediately when somebody shoots you in the head with a mouser. Which, uh, isn't fun. we got to find some fucking health soon. God damn it. But see, look at this. This is more fun. It's more fun than just like, oh, I can regenerate my health. Or, oh, they don't do any damage. Come on. Stick your head out. Stick your head out. Yeah, fuck you. I'll kill you. Uh, I'll kill you next time. What? I oh, yeah. We have to, like, clear the village so we can uh, talk to Jamie Hunneman. But, you know, it's a really interesting game, this. I mean... I played it literally at the most perfect of times because going from the games I played uh, just prior to this to this one, it's crazy just how much more complex this game really was. This is what a sequel is meant to be. It's where I get shot all the time. This is what a sequel is meant to be. This is what a sequel should always be. You know, I may have a soft spot for the Modern Warfares just because, you know, I did enjoy them on Xbox Live. But that's more my personal memories of playing them with somebody than the games were really that amazing, you know? This game stands on its own. It doesn't really require nostalgia to enjoy. You see, that's the thing. A lot of people just say, oh, you only like the old games because of nostalgia. No, not really. They're better in just about every conceivable way. And it, it, this game is legit. You could, you could compare this to a wide variety of modern-day first-person shooters. Uh... And this just beats them, hands down, in terms of complexity of both story and gameplay. Now what? That guy didn't hear anything. Was he deaf? Probably. Get a bunch of artillery tubes going off next year. Let's see. We will try to Solid Snake. Solidus Snake. Uh, did he already spot me? No, he didn't. I thought he, I thought he like, turned and was going to shoot me. Ah, oh, but he spotted me almost immediately and completely eradicated me. i got to find you some health. I need my health. I need my... I need some vitamins. Uh, we got that guy. And we got him. Sweet. Da -da -da. Just imagine if there had been... If this... Just imagine if Duke Nukem Forever had been like this. He's like, yeah, compare this to Duke Nukem Forever. Duke Nukem Forever does not hold up compared to this. In terms of, you know, advancing the franchise. And like... We actually will end up fine. Ooh, all that sweet. Oh, I didn't even know we were going to find this in this playthrough. Oh, yeah, we got the silenced Luger. Awesome. I don't think you could actually mount a silencer to a Luger. Oh, this could just be like a... Uh, we're not going to use it because it's not like it's that important. But, like, I, you could that'd probably be like a precision machined one that, like, one fucking gunsmith did. Which I imagine they could do that. But, like, silencers are more popular these days. Uh, since you can now get them, they're, they're perfectly legal now, so long as you get a, uh... Well, isn't that guy a bloody ninja? Nazi ninja. Ninja Nazi. Ninja Nazi. Blech. But you can get silencers if you get a, uh, appropriate tax stamp. You know, it's funny, though, how, how popular they are, and they're not really that good for much, not, other than just, they're really cool. Now, see, that, I know, has to be a new, uh, uh texture right there, because I don't think that said anything. I think the texture work in this is better than the original. It's why I have the high res... Oh, wait, we didn't talk to Jamie, Jamie Heineman. And I just... Really? Fuck. I thought I thought it was, like, a guy in the graveyard, but... We forgot to talk to Jamie Heineman. We gotta find him somewhere. Because he's gonna give us a new gun. Now, what's funny is, these guns have individual ammo pools! Oh, man, that, that like that's like a microaggression, man. I think they should ban this game. Because, like, it requires me to use my brain, and that makes my head hurt. 
Uh, I did review this game. If you're wondering why I haven't reviewed it, I did review it for CGR, and I've not reviewed it for the main channel yet. I may at some point. We'll just have to see. The thing is, I don't like re-reviewing everything from CGR. Uh, where the fuck is Jamie Heineman? Because I know I can't finish the level until I find him. That's just how it goes. Uh, let's save again. Okay, yeah, I think all we gotta do is shoot this crowd up here. They can't attack you on there! I love, I love how that worked. It's like, he, he's interacting with the level geometry and he just slides down the wall. Okay, there we go. Grab some of them 8mm Mausers! Let's climb down there. Alright, where's Jamie Heineman? There he is! Don't shoot. Doesn't that look like Jamie Heineman? It just, it looks like Jamie Heineman. I swear, I swear it is. I will eat your dinner, sir. Because I'm being shot. And I've shot him on so many occasions, he's like, Oh, he just pops out! He's like, don't shoot! Oh, I'm dead! You might be able to use this. A silenced Sten submachine gun. The walk cycle for this just looks so weird. I remember seeing him open that door, I was like, Oh my god! Nine millimeter got the flak jacket, and we got the silent Sten gun. Oh yeah. And those doors are really big. It's like, you, you can open now. doors, he's a Velociraptor! Me, we'll both be shot. Velociraptor hard drive? Uh, but this is a game. This is a Vigi game. Stin. I don't think you could really do a Stin like this. Yeah, and you can see this is a, a, a new model, because that says Stin SMG. You know it didn't look like that back then. The water still looks a little weird. I think I like this game a bit more than Metal of Honor Allied Assault. M-O-H-A-A. -A. Moche. I think we can go somewhere. Let's see. Let's... Let's try to look for some secrets, shall we? Since this is one of my top tier games. One of my favorite games of all time. Oh, we got another Mauser. Not that we really need that. We don't really use it that much. Hmm. Ah, fuck it. We'll just go. Let's, let's just go to the exit. So I was trying to think we could find that, but I don't really want to spend that much time trying to find secrets in the game. The only thing I don't think I like about this particular game is the lack of memorable music. I think this is a part of the... Yeah, there he is. I see him. Oh, shit. That's pretty bloody accurate with that. Too bad he don't have no Mauser. Let's see. Where's my fucking... Look at how many guns we can carry. Because, see, this is what we call a video game. This is not... And this is... See, this is a first-person shooter fun game, not a... Uh simulation game. There are some simulation World War II games that the fan told me about that I will have to take a look at at some point. But for now, I remember seeing that! Assuming I remember seeing that. That's still cool nonetheless. Notice we haven't had any scripted events or anything like that. We've been able to open every single goddamn door. And Jamie, he and Jamie Heineman's in the game, so that's always a plus. Although I heard that they're not going to be making any more Mythbusters. Although I stopped watching Mythbusters years ago. It was a good show, but I just can't... just didn't enjoy it that much to where I have to just watch it all the bloody time. Although it sound, I, I did also hear that on Netflix there's going to... It's going to be a reality show. Oh my god. Oh my god! A Mythbusters reality show? That sounds absolutely horrific. I think that was a grenade. Oh, look at the stuff flying through the air! Particles! Oh, ha, ha, ha. It's probably a game long before now that had it, and I just never noticed. Yeah, well, sometimes you need a good rifle. Now, of course, I do not believe that the Mauser K98K would have a scope like that. I think it only had a scout scope that uh, the Forgotten Weapons guys reviewed. And it was apparently pretty, pretty good. Ooh, Dinamite! I will take all that Dinamite. Not that I really need it right now. Okay, and then we gotta smash down this priceless historical artifact. No, we can't, because... That's why we got the dynamite! Run! You can actually set the dynamite timer! Oh my god! Uh, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what we call a real game. And I am General Lots. It took 14 attempts, damn. And I'm General Lodge, wishing you good, Wolfenstein, uh, Wolfenstein, or whatever, make sure.